Hi, welcome to this week's Alteryx short tip. This is a probably a little bit longer than I expected, but it was something that takes care of an issue that I have regularly when I'm trying to bring in data from a textual source and getting it into a database. As you have probably run into, you know, the names that they give to their columns, as you can see here, are not database compatible usually a couple of issues with them, not to mention spaces and special characters. Also nice if they were all in uppercase. And if you have a naming standard that requires abbreviations, you have to apply the abbreviations to the names as well. All of this is simple if you only have five or six columns, but when you have 40 or 50 columns coming in in your source, and you have to go through and manually change each one of them. It can be a bit tedious. So this short tip will show you how to do this automatically and dynamically so that you don't have to worry what it looks like. You'll get good names coming out the other end. So a couple things we'll look at. First of all, here's the standard encounter data with some nice names, but not database compatible names. I also have another spreadsheet that has a list of words and their abbreviations. So let's set about cleaning this up. First thing to note is on the input, I say that the first row contains data, so I actually get these column names as a record. And what I'll do is, to start with, we'll go through the bottom part of this workflow because it's the one that's a little bit more exciting. And all we're going to do here is use the sample to just choose the very first row off of there. Once we've taken that first row off of there, we go ahead and use the transpose, which takes columns to rows. This makes it very easy for us to apply standard changes and formulas to all of the data. So now I simply have a column called value that has all of my column names that I need to clean up. I'm going to do that with a number of formulas. Now you could do this all in one formula if you chose but I decided to do it one step at a time just to make it a little bit easier for you to follow through. And as I expand all these out, I'll go ahead and then walk you through each one. Now one thing I want to do is I want to leave each individual tag or word in this column name as a word so that I can easily replace them with the abbreviations. The first thing I want to do is I want to take out all the underscores and put a space in place of the underscores because believe it or not an underscore is not a special character. So I use replace char to replace the underscore with a space. I use the regex replace to replace all of the special characters with a space. I then use a reg x replace, replace all of the multiple spaces with a single space, and then I uppercase it when I'm done. So I get now a very nice word-oriented uppercase set of values. I then take the abbreviations and use it as a replace. I find within the field the value, and I find the full word within the field value, and I put the abbreviation in its place. And as you can see, now I get a very nice abbreviation for each of the words that need to be abbreviated. I then can use another formula and replace those spaces with underscores, which you really can't see here because you just don't have enough room to display it all, but trust me, there are underscores in there. So now I have really good column names to use in here. Now I need to do a little bit of cleanup with the data itself. So again, I use the sample widget to skip the first record and get just the data out of it. I don't use this auto field widget very often, but this is the simplest way to get some reasonable data types out of it, especially just going to try to do this automatically and not be too concerned about what it looks like. And then finally, we use the denot dynamic rename. The dynamic rename is found in the developer category. And all I do here is that I want to take field names from the right input rows. And the field name is value, and I use it as a positional rename. What I get out of it then is nice names for the columns and some reasonable metadata for each of the columns as well. So now I could very easily 
send this into a database knowing that I have good column names and a reasonable type of data types as well and I can be pretty happy with a first pass through this and clean up secondarily if I really need to. Again, the nice thing about this is it is dynamic. I know where in this workflow do I assume the name or number of fields coming into the spreadsheet. So think about this. This is a great macro that you could create or a great app that you could create as well to do some cleanup work for you automatically. I hope this helps. Have a great day.